Well, guys, I just, I just made it here to this brand new piece of public. I've never, ever been here before. It's a long ways away from home. It's over a two hour drive, but it's a huge piece and it's apparently everybody says that's the place to go for turkeys. It's away from the crowd. It's away from the city. So I just got here. Everything's just waking up. I haven't really seen anybody out here, so I'm gonna check this big area over here and just see what it looks like. But pretty excited. Hopefully, I can hear a gobble soon. Stay tuned. Guys, I just had a bird hammer on this ridge right here. Just heard a bird right here. Sneaking in there and trying to get this bird first thing in the morning. Stay tuned. Yes. Well, guys, sorry I freaked out there. Uh, <laughs> that was insane, folks. Like, so I've never had a hunt like that before. I've never had a turkey come up to me before that close. So I'm going to show you everything right here in a second. But I basically just got out of the truck, as you saw, and I was all excited. I came up this hill. Let me show you the hill, and I'll show you the whole setup. 
So I'm parked like right there. I was walking up this little trail back in there. Also, I heard him gobble right over here and I didn't know exactly where when I heard it because I was walking away. I climbed up here. I hit a couple soft yelps. I heard him gobble and I was like, okay, he sounds far enough. So I snuck up into here and I did some scratching in the leaves and did another couple soft yelps. And then I heard the hen immediately. And as you can see, here's my camera. So I heard the hen. You guys didn't get to see this because I was just caught. Like all of a sudden they were there. All of a sudden I saw the turkeys. I could hear them walk and hear the hen cluck. She walked up. I was sitting right here. She walked up right there and was sitting there calling. The gobbler was right there behind her strutting. And then he knew something was up. He started putting. So he looped around here. And then he was on that side and I never got to see him. She stayed here calling and had no idea. I said, just stay still. She walked back and went right down here and went that way. So then I just resituated. I was just sitting right here and I just said, let me see if I can call her back. Got the camera rolling and got the GoPro rolling and I went murr, 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 and she came right up and walked right here in front of me. It cut, I mean, literally a yard. And then she went that way and he was right on that hillside. You see that big tree. He came up and then I shot him right here. I saw that's my opening when he pops back out and dropped him at like 35 yards with the TSS. But insane. I can't believe that hen did not pick me out at all. And yeah, I, I mean, it rocked him, that 20 gauge. But a great bird. Check this out. I think, I was just telling my buddy on the phone, He it looks like, I mean, he's, I guess he's a two-year-old, but he's really small. Um, I mean, he's got a great beard, but as you can tell here, his spurs aren't that great. Um, and his wing, he actually looks like he's, I mean, look how short they are. Like, he might just be a super jake, or I don't know. But great bird. I got him checked in already. You got to check him in before you can move him. But anyway, I'm tagged out, man. Tagged out. It has been extremely tough hunting. Like, as you saw there, the first gobbler I got, I had to really work him in uh, at our private. We weren't having any luck over there. So I said, look, I'm going to come check this out. This piece of public, everybody highly recommends. It's huge, and it's away from the cities and everything. I had to drive. I drove two hours this morning. Two hours, got here, and I'm tagged out within maybe 30 minutes. Uh, but that was very cool. He was gobbling back at her. I hope you guys get to hear it. I think he gobbled a couple times when I actually had the camera on with the speaker, so you should have heard it. But I hope I got some decent film. But that was insane. That was very cool. Like I said, I didn't get to zoom in, obviously. Like, I just let the camera do its thing. But I'm hoping you guys can kind of see me shoot him right through this opening here. But it was easily a, yeah, 35, 40-yard shot. And, man, that herder's TSS was awesome. And then also running the Stevens still with the Vortex. So really loving that setup with my Avian X choke. And, uh, man, so I'm just going to just kind of soak it all in, honestly, because... Just need to just chill out. Don't have any rush anywhere. Get to just go home. And um, yeah, very cool. So stay tuned so for some photos. And uh, yeah, we'll get this bird weighed and see. But I think he's like, I really think he's only like a 17 pound bird. He's got a really nice beard, but his spurs are just super small. But very cool experience. Um, this is my second public land bird. My first public land gobbler. Um, I shot a Jake couple years ago i had another piece of public that's been getting hammered now and uh but yeah it's my first public land gob so pretty excited that was a pretty cool hunt and if you guys like these videos stay tuned for the next one hopefully we got indiana next so we're pretty excited about that but if you like these please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one